Hi, welcome to this short video where I'll show how to search EBSCOhost resources. EBSCOhost refers to the platform or layout of some of the resources that are created by EBSCO, one of BadgerLink's content providers. BadgerLink is Wisconsin's online library and provides Wisconsin residents with licensed content not available through regular search engines. BadgerLink is a service provided by the Department of Public Instruction, and our resources are paid for with state and federal funding. To get started, go to the BadgerLink website at badgerlink.dpi.wi.gov. To view all EBSCO resources, click on All Resources in the blue bar or in the Get Started section, and then under Content Provider, select EBSCO and click Apply. Everything that is listed is an EBSCO resource, and you can tell if a resource is an EBSCO host resource because it says powered by EBSCO host. So let's go into an EBSCO host resource and explore some of the search options. Every EBSCO host resource looks very similar. You have the white background, the search box, and the blue menu bar at the top of the page. You can change the language of the display. Go to the blue menu bar at the top of the page and hover over Languages. You have 29 different language options. To change the language, click on the language. You can see that the display is now in another language. I'm going to switch the language back to English. You can also search the resource for a specific magazine, newspaper, book, or journal. Go to the blue bar at the top of the page and click on Publications. In the Browse box, type in the name of the publication you want. I'll browse for Newsweek. And here is Newsweek. We have the full text of Newsweek from 1990 to present, and it's available in HTML full text. If the publication is not available in full text, like Next, you'll only see the bibliographic record. If the publication is available in PDF full text and HTML full text, you'll see those icons, like in Newsweek Global. When I click on Newsweek, I'm taken to the publication page. Here, I can search within Newsweek by clicking on Search Within This Publication, or I can browse the current or past issues. Let's go back to the main search page. If we were to type in a search in the search box, we would just be searching Academic Search Premier, but we could search multiple EBSCOhost resources at the same time. Click on Choose Databases. A list of all of our EBSCOhost resources pops up. Select the resources you want to search and click OK. You can also select all resources. Once you click OK, you are directed back to the search box. To see all of the databases you're searching, click on Show All. Now, when you enter a search term, you'll be searching all of the selected resources. You're welcome to do a simple search using this search box. However, if you have a more complicated search, use the Advanced Search feature. So here's our search example. You want information on water pollution and how it affects the ocean. So I'll type in water pollution. And on the next line, I'll type in ocean. I also want newer articles on the topic. I'll limit the search results to articles that were written from 2010 to present. Now I'll click search and see what we get. This is the search results page and we have over 7,000 search results. You can continue to narrow your search results using the left side of your screen. Let's select Full Text. We've already limited the publication date. And let's select Magazines. And we've already narrowed our search results to under 700. Once you find an article you want, click on the title. This takes you to a detailed record, which gives you information about the article. From here, you can access the article. I'll go back to the detailed record to show you a couple features that will help you during your research. 
EBSCO offers citations for each article. Click on the Cite button and you'll get the citation in a variety of different styles. If you want to get back to this page, there's a temptation to copy and paste the URL in the address bar. However, this URL won't work. You need to use the permalink or persistent URL. Click on the permalink button and use this URL to get back to this page. You can also share this article to Google Classroom or Google Drive. When sharing to Google Drive, make sure your pop-up blocker is turned off. If you have any questions about using an EBSCOhost resource, ask a librarian. Go to the blue bar at the top of the page and click on Ask a Badger Librarian. Thanks for watching.